Hey everyone, welcome. I'm Rob Howe, type one diabetic for 17 years, and I've been wearing a Medtronic pump for at least 15 of those years. So excited for you to be here today. We are talking about Smart Guard Auto Mode and the Medtronic Minimed 770G and 670G systems. At the time of recording, I've been wearing Auto Mode for over three and a half years. So pretty familiar with the system, and I hope that this video is helpful for you. What is auto mode? What can it do for you? What has it done for me? How often do I use it? We're going to talk about all those things today. To understand what smart guard auto mode really does, we have to go back a little bit because we need to define what traditional pump therapy was like before hybrid closed loop. So in a traditional pump therapy, you would set your basal rates, which is your background insulin, and you would set that based on the time of day and you'd work with your healthcare provider to set how much insulin you get every hour throughout the day. SmartGuard Auto Mode relies on readings from the Guardian 3 sensor to determine how much insulin you need. It will determine every five minutes how much insulin you need, whether your blood sugar is high or low or right in range, and it will give you the appropriate amount of insulin. Now, this is just for basal insulin or background insulin. You will still need to bolus for meals. Effectively, when your sugar levels go up, it will deliver more insulin. When your sugar levels are down, it will deliver less insulin. And you can suspend delivery if you need. Now, I've never shared this on social media, but I've talked about it in my podcast and I've talked about it when I go speak in person. The first day I ever wore auto mode was the day that I found out my dad had cancer and this was February 2018 and I had just gotten on auto mode and I woke up that morning and I had calibrated and my blood sugar was like 130 I think on the calibration and I woke up really early to go to the hospital with my mom I remember getting to the hospital it was a high stress situation and he was having not emergency surgery but like pretty intense surgery and they came in after they had completed the surgery and they told us that unfortunately he had stage four colon cancer. So this is a high stress scenario and what do we know about stress and blood sugars is that stress makes your blood sugars go up. This was my first day on a hybrid closed loop. It was my first day on smart guard auto mode and I kept checking like compulsively like checking my pump, checking my pump to see what my blood sugar was doing because I hadn't eaten anything and throughout the day I just kept seeing that flat line on the CGM. While certainly not every day has been like that, I remember thinking on this day, like a day I'll never forget, a very stressful day, a day with a lot of uncertainty, my blood sugars were in range and I didn't have to worry about treating a low or treating a high that day because I had smart guard auto mode. And for me that sort of cemented it and even though there are days where I struggle and days where my sensor doesn't calibrate correctly or my blood sugars are out of whack, I, I remember that day of being like, if I can make it through this day without having to worry about my diabetes, then there's probably not too many days worse than this. So this is a good sense that smart card works for me. But it's not just days where I'm not eating or I'm under a lot of stress that I rely on auto mode. I'm in auto mode about 90% of the time. Nine days out of 10, I'm in auto mode. The only times that I'm generally out is if I'm away from home or away from my sensors and I just didn't time my calibrations correctly or didn't time my sensor expiration correctly, or uh, I'm just you know, on the go or I messed up my supply order. If I can be, I'm in auto mode. And that allows me to do things like go to work, travel, exercise, without really having to think too much preparation-wise about what's going on with my diabetes. I calibrate it two to three times every day to make sure that my sensor is calibrated correctly and that my blood sugars are in range. Auto mode helps me stay in range. It helps alleviate some of the mental burden of diabetes in terms of planning and preparation. You guys that know me and have been a fan of this channel for a long time know that I like to go improvise. I like to go chase things around. I don't like to prepare too much. I'm not a not a big planner. So anything that allows me that extra space to be who I am with diabetes has, has proven to be really valuable for me and auto mode has given me that flexibility. 
You guys know that there's a tremendous mental burden with diabetes and you're always having to take in data. You're trying to take in carbs and activities and what your blood sugar is at that time and sliding scale insulin adjustments. And one of the coolest things for me about auto mode is that it does a lot of that thinking for you. And if you're out there and you're, you're thinking, well, I'm pretty good at managing my diabetes by myself, or I have a really good treatment methodology and I've got good A1C outcomes or good time in range or whatever the case may be, I understand that. I was that way. I had a good A1C when I started using the 670 and 770G. I had a good controlled time and range. My endocrinologist and care team were happy with my results, but I wanted to go to the latest and greatest tech. And I wanted to go on a hybrid closed loop system. And I wanted to go with one that was FDA approved. And at the time, when I started Auto Mode, this was the only FDA approved hybrid closed loop system on the market. It's not realistic to be in Auto Mode 100% of the time, but Medtronic recommends trying to stay in Auto Mode about over 80% of the time. And again, I stay in Auto Mode 90% of the time because it works for me. And the more I use it and the more data points I put into it, the more it learns who I am and my habits, and the more of a routine I can stay in, the better off my numbers are going to be. And even as I look at my pump under the ISIG history, my time in range between 80 and 180 is over 85%. And that is a number that I can definitely live with. And that means that my average blood sugars are in a range that is suitable for me. And I wouldn't have that data without auto mode. But one of the things that I really rely on for auto mode is living the life that I want to live. So actually, I'm going to throw it to myself out on the golf course to talk a little bit about how I rely on auto mode when I do the things that I love, like play golf. So kick it to you, Rob. What's up? Little change of pace here. Uh, I wanted to bring you guys out to the course because I wanted to tell you that when I played golf before auto mode, I had to stop every couple of holes and eat some snacks throughout my round uh, out of my little like gummy bear stasher bag here. Sometimes candy bars from the cart person uh, or some sports drinks. And I was doing that because as my basal rates would go and I would do kind of an extended long four hour round walking outside in the sun, my blood sugar would start to go down. And so I'd have to go through all of those candy or Gatorade or whatever to keep myself in range. But now since I use Smart Guard Auto Mode, when I start my round in range with no insulin on board, I can stay in range most of the round without having to constantly balance my numbers in my head or worry about timing or how long I've been out here. I still keep my low snacks handy and I still have to eat them every now and then. But now that I don't have to constantly balance those things in my head, I can actually stay more focused on my game, which is honestly what I should probably do anyway. All right, back to the studio with you, Rob. <laughs> Thanks, Rob. Now let's be clear, Smart Guard Auto Mode doesn't take away my diabetes. I still have diabetes. I still have days where my blood sugar is high or my blood sugar is low and I'm having hard, a hard time with insulin absorption or carb counting or whatever the case may be. I still have a lot of things to remember like carb counting or activity levels or how hot it is outside or insulin timing, etc, etc, etc. I still have diabetes. But living with Smart Guard Auto Mode lets me be me and it hasn't let me stop doing the things that I love to do whether that's playing sports. I wear my pump while I play basketball now. I wear it when I play golf. I'm able to see what my numbers are doing while I'm doing activities. And that's something that I didn't have before. And it also helps me at night. It's on, it gives me alerts if I go high or low in my sleep, which allows me to stay in range longer while I'm not as conscious. And I've also gotten better at auto mode over time. I've been on it over three years now, and I'm much better today than I was my first year, my second year, and especially during the first few weeks. Give yourself some patience when you're adapting and adjusting to this new system. It takes a while to get good at it. And if you're like me and were really good and confident in your own diabetes management before you started on a hybrid closed loop system, be patient with yourself. Trusting the technology can be very difficult because as you guys know, you live with diabetes. It's hard to tell people with diabetes what to do. <laughs> we are a little bit hard headed and a little bit stubborn. So I wanna thank you for watching this video. I wanna thank Medtronic for sponsoring this video. Reminder that I'm a paid spokesperson for Medtronic and this video was brought to you by their partnership. And I'm gonna roll a disclaimer at the end of this video, so be sure to watch it and discuss 
all of your diabetes management decisions with your healthcare provider. Don't do anything on your own. Please be safe. Please be careful. And I hope this video shed some light on what hybrid closed loop systems are, what smart guard auto mode is from Medtronic, and what the 770G and 670G systems are actually like. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have questions or comments about smart guard auto mode and the 770G system, put them in the comments below and I'll get back to you. Please like and subscribe to this channel. I appreciate all of you guys' comments and views over the past few months. Uh, the channel is continuing to improve and it couldn't happen without your help. So thanks so much.